let's go over how to get the mean and standard deviation um, and variance for a probability distribution. Okay, so I'm looking at number 32, the number of school-related extracurricular activities per student. So here's our x value. Okay, x takes on values 0 through 7 with each of their corresponding probabilities. Now, I know it's really cumbersome to find um, the mean and standard deviation by hand, so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do this in the calculator. Okay, so just as a reminder, to do this by hand, okay, remember the mean is also equivalent to the expected value. Okay, what I'm going to do is sum all the x's times their corresponding probabilities. So for this particular problem, it would be 0 times the probability of getting a 0 plus 1 times the probability of getting a 1, and so on, all the way down um, to 7 times the probability of getting a 7. Okay, so that's very clunky and, and cumbersome. So to get this in the calculator, what you need to do is first you need to um, put the information in two lists. You want your first list to be the x values and your probability list, um, sorry, to be your x values to be list one and your probabilities to be in list two. Okay, so um, I went ahead and did that previously. I went to stat and then edit. Okay, so you'll see that um, x takes on 0 through 7, okay, with their corresponding probabilities. Okay, so what you need to do is um, press stat, go back to stat, right arrow over to calc, and we're going to select one variable statistics. Now, um, it may be the case that your frequency list is blank, okay? So when you get to the screen, you want your x list uh, your list of x values to be in list 1, so that's going to be list, and then the frequencies will be the corresponding probabilities. So those are in list 2. Okay, so if you have an older TI, your screen will look a little bit different. Okay, so it will open up to your um, home screen, and it'll look like something like one var stats, and it'll open um, up a parentheses maybe. Um, what you'll need to do is input L1 comma L2. Okay, so make sure you put in the X list comma and then the probability list and then enter. When you were just getting one variable statistics for a list of values, you just put in L1 and then hit enter. Okay, so going back to the calculator, I'm going to press calculate. And even though the notation is x bar, this is really mu because we're talking about a probability distribution. So the mean is 3.349. Okay, so mu for this problem is 3.349. And if you look at your calculator, notice that it's not even putting the sample standard deviation. The reason why it's doing that is because the calculator assumes this is a, po a population probability distribution because we put in those probabilities. If we had put in counts, observed counts, instead in list two, it would give both. It would give the sample standard deviation and then the population standard deviation. Okay, but for this section, we're concerned with finding the population standard deviation. Okay, so, um, this is very helpful because the, com the formula for um, variance and standard deviation is really cumbersome. Okay, so remember the formula for um, variance for a discrete probability distribution is the sum of um, the x values minus mu squared, okay, uh, let me just double check. <laughs> uh, sorry, times the probability of x. Uh, I just blinked for a second. Oh. 
Anyway, so we'd have to make a separate column um, and create these deviations. Okay, so for example, I'd have, um, for example, x t is taking on 0, 1, 2, and so on. Okay, I'd have to have a column for x minus mu, and then I'd want to square that. And then I'd want to multiply by the corresponding probability. Okay, so just for example, for this first one, I would be taking 0 minus 3.49. 3.349, I apologize, which is negative 3.349, then I would have to square it, and then I'd have to take that value and um, multiply it times its corresponding probability. Okay, so um, doing that multiplication, I'd have negative 3.349 squared times, um, let me go back to the book, 0 0.059. Okay, so um, that value just by itself is about 0.6617. Okay, so I would have in my um, formula by hand, I would have um, about 0.6617 plus, then I'd have to do this for x is equal to 1. I'd have to take 1 and subtract 3.349 and then um, square that deviation and then take that value and multiply it by its corresponding probability. And I'd have to do it for all of the values up through 7. Okay, so it would be very cumbersome. Okay. Now, fortunately, we can get this directly in our calculator. Again, let me go back to STAT, and let's review the key sequence. I'm going to right arrow over to CALC, select one variable statistics, and my um, X list is list 1, and my frequency list, which is my um, list of corresponding probabilities, is in list 2. Again, I'm going to calculate. Okay, again, mu is 3.349. And the population um, standard deviation is about 1.84, okay? So um, sigma is about 1.84 with rounding, okay? So you can round as you're told to round in my stat lab. But remember, um, this problem is asking for the variance also. So remember the relationship between the standard deviation and the variance. The variance is just the standard deviation squared. So I'm going to go ahead and square this value here. Okay, so 1.84 squared is about 3.3856. Now there's some rounding in there. It might be beneficial to have carried out that 1.84 um, a few more places or as much as you can to get the answer to match in my stat lab. Okay, so Again, the variance is approximately 3.386. Okay, so I hope that helps you work through some of these problems because I know it's very cumbersome to do these by hand.